What's fucking going on, guys? I'm going to share a practice with you today that is great for the entrepreneur, the CEO, the stay-at-home dad, the hard-working factory worker. Like, you can apply this to every aspect of your life. And I actually use this in many of my trainings from personality sculpting and uh, life artistry, many of the different areas of life artistry. And that is, this is the practice called your transition. You see, most people, and you're probably one of them, you probably fall into this category. If you've ever been like working, you're working hard, and then you come home and you're trying to tone out or let go of all of the shit associated with your day at work and you bring that stress home and now your significant other, your wife, your partner, your husband, whatever is going, oh my God, like just relax, come in. And so you spend the next two hours trying to unwind and let go of the stress of the day that you've had. Well, this transition, what I'm about to teach you, will radically help you, man. It just will. And so it basically, it basically goes like this. The very first step upon any transition, what I'm referring to as a transition is anytime something changes, when you leave your work to head home, transition. Now you're in a transition period. On your way home, practice this. If you are answering emails and you get up to change tasks, this is a transition. If you're responding to a message and now you enter into a meeting, make sure you practice this transition. If you're a stay-at-home dad and you go from changing diapers to working on homework, this is transition time. And basically what you're gonna do is you get up or move from the position that you were in and the first thing, the first step is called release. Put it right here. And you say, I release, release, release. And you're picturing in your mind, releasing, letting go of the task that took place just before this one. You're releasing it. And once you've spent about a good 60 seconds, 30 to 60 seconds releasing that, letting go, and depending upon how long you've practiced this, you, you get quicker and quicker, then practice visualization. The second part is visualization. That is, you want, you want to visualize yourself, picture yourself, and doing or performing the next task. That next thing that is going to, that you're getting ready to do, picture it. Picture yourself walking through that task, how you're gonna do, how you wanna feel when you're in the middle of that task. You wanna picture this in your mind so you're visualizing yourself performing the next task. And then the third step, and this is also equally important, is then you're gonna be on purpose. How do you wanna feel when performing this task? How, how, what, what kind of joy is this bringing to your existence? And what kind of joy or how do you want the people in your life to feel or those that you're around, how do you want them to feel during this next, next task? When you ask yourself these questions and you visualize this in your mind, now you're able to literally move from the stress of one thing right into joy. You're able to move from feeling shitty over here right into a beautiful fucking moment like this one. So I practice this trans this transition all the time because if I'm reading a book and I get up and now I'm dealing and now I'm talking to my children, then I don't want to carry that same attitude of book reading Silas into this conversation with my kids. I want them to feel loved and valued. I don't want them to just feel that Silas is coming to them, the dad's coming to them with some sort of intellectual, in some sort of intellectual way. I don't want them to feel my love and my genuine concern and my genuine heart for them. So I know that if you practice this, it just, it will help you. It will ultimately help you become more productive and uh, focus better and, f and your family will tell immediate difference. 
I love you guys so much. Hope this helps. Remember, the more you waken, the more you fucking play. <laughs>